Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be putting Evo Synthetic Paper to a test. I've got here two other brands. It's Nara and Yupo. So the way it's gonna work, I will be putting them side by side and we can see exactly what's gonna happen. That's exciting, let's go. I chose to use the five by seven size just because I think it's much easier and more clear for you to see. So let's give it a try. I'll be using exactly the same colors and we just see how they will turn out. So this is Nara. The same, let's do the same pattern. This is Evo. This is Yipo. Hmm, that's interesting. So, okay, so that's, so you see in Evo, I did not use any uh, blending solution, but it's just already having that effect. And Yipo seems like you kind of have to use blending solution. And Nara, I'm not sure. So let's just, let's just try another color. Let's see. Let me just this time start from this side and we're just going to see to make sure that it wasn't uh, from, um, I don't know, from the color, the color because I just started from this side. Let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to I can go like this to make sure it's even. Okay. So the same way. And this is just just to see how um, the color turns out, right? So okay, so let me go now carefully here. That's interesting, huh? It's Okay, well now let's do this. Let's just go in um, with colors. I'm just gonna go like this without trying to create perfect circles. Um, so what can I say so far? I use, you can see that the Evo, without using any blending solution, it's really um, getting that abstract, round, blurry um, forms and shapes. For Yupo, really needs you really need to use the blending solution here. Um, Nara seems like it's it doesn't hold shape as much so i guess if you want to go into more of a abstract i guess nara would be really good in creating uh, different type of shapes here so let's see so now i will uh, use um, some blending solution and i mean i can just start from eo now since i was starting from this side and from that side so let's do this i won't be doing any particular pattern so just gonna go in and let's see just what's gonna happen just gonna do some motions like that Okay, and I'll just continue, then we can see what's gonna happen. And I kind of trying to do the same amount of um, the blending solution throughout. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more here because it didn't really, um, it didn't really turn out the same as this or that, that's interesting. Okay, so let's then now go ahead and add some more color to it. Um, I can use some purple and let's see here, okay, okay, now you can see that now that I have blending solution, it is getting more of that rounder shape, which is very interesting. Here there was no blending solution, so you can tell here, um, okay, let's do this here now. Okay, let's do it now. Okay, so you can see that the ink, the color is traveling exactly where I had the blending solution. Um, where on Nara and Evo, it doesn't, it just go throughout. 
Okay, I can also, um, I have a straw so I can blow to see. Okay, so we got the beautiful uh, blending effect. So um, this looks kind of dry already. Okay, yeah, so but even you see the dry, um, it's already dry, so I was talking too much. <laughs> so let's try this one. Okay, so I can tell that definitely with, definitely with Ebro, um, it's drying not as fast as Evo Nara. Seemed to me that Evo dried faster than actually than Ipo or Nara. So let me add a little bit more of the blending solution here. I'm just gonna go like this. Just because I did not make it on time with my straw. So let's go in here. And you, of course you don't have to use the straw. This is more for um, just so we can see how the color is traveling and the side, well, the drying, how fast it dries. Yeah, so here we go. So we have an idea. So with Evo, you really don't need to use too much of the blending solution. That's from what I can see here. Um, with Evo, you really need to use a lot of it. Um, and with Nara, it's 50-50, I would say, from what I can tell, from what I can see. Yeah, and um, yeah, so this is very interesting. Let me know what you think. Have you been trying to find a better alternative to synthetic paper for your arts and crafts and fine art needs? Evo is now available, a tree-friendly synthetic paper that is tear-resistant and waterproof. Designed with the highest quality materials for a fraction of the cost to you, add Evo to your toolkit and you won't be disappointed. This high-grade product is available now for anyone in the card-making, abstract artist, mixed-media artist space. To get yours, click the link below right now.